gonna be teaching you how to play One by Metallica, one of the most popular songs. Uh, it's really fun to play on guitar. Uh, again, if you have a loop pedal, uh, it kind of adds so you can play both parts at once. Uh, but I will be teaching you the intro uh, and uh, sort of the little solo licks at the beginning of this song. So let's get right into it. Okay, so real quick, I'll throw up a picture of my amp settings so you guys can see uh, what I'm working with. Basically, you add a little bit of reverb um, and a tiny bit of a delay uh, to get that that slight echo. Um, but anyway, so the song starts off uh, first finger on the second fret A string, third finger on the fourth fret D string, and you just hit those in succession. So A string, D string, A string, and then you just lift your third finger up and you hit the open D. So then same pattern, except for now we're hitting the uh, third fret. Uh, low E string and then the D string on the fourth fret, so it looks like this. So far. Then it repeats. And the second time around, uh, the last uh, time you just hit the open G string as well as the open D, so. So that whole intro section. Then it repeats again. Then it goes, which is open A. And then fourth fret on the uh, D string. Basically, you just kind of bar down both of those strings, so. Um, and then he goes into the little solo, so. And that starts slide up to the 4th fret A, uh, D string, to the 2nd fret on the G, then 4th fret on the D, or sorry, G, slide up to the 6th, back down to the fourth, so. And you can sort of give it a little bit of vibrato just by bending it back and forth ever so slightly. And that part is, uh, basically it's just the uh, third fret on the uh, B string and the second fret on the B string, so. It's a uh, third fret, pull off to the um, second, and then another pull off to an open, uh, open B. Uh, alternatively, you can also hit the B uh, note there with your finger. So, but I like to just, just kind of pull off. So, and then the second time you go to the second fret on the D string. Sorry, the G string. So, this is the first time, and then then to the second fret, and then just twice before you start on the third. Um, so it's a little confusing, but uh, this is what it looks like real slowly. Kind of simple. Um, so... Then the next part... That section starts on the 11th fret uh, G string. And it's basically just uh, sort of a hammer uh, pull off uh, to the 9th fret. And then hit the 9th fret again. And then same sort of thing. So sort of, uh, you can either go or matter whatever you're comfortable with for some reason I like to slide it down for the second time but to the seventh fret to the 
sixth fret to the fourth fret, then second fret, and then slide back up to the fourth. So. That's that part of the song, and then it goes. The basic riff is slide up to the fourth fret on the uh, G string, second fret on the B, sort of a hammer on to the third fret on the B, second fret, and then just do that same thing again, and then twice on the second fret to the fourth, uh, hammer on to the fourth, so. So after that we go to this little solo section. And we have the 16th fret on the G, 15th fret on the B, and then 14th fret on the high E. And you just pick each one individually, kind of let let your pick fall on each string rather than actually move it to each string. And the way that you do that, um, without it sounding like this, is you just hit one string, and then the next, and then the next, and then immediately take your fingers off. So it's add, 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 so it's add, add, off, off. So it's like... Uh, you can kind of practice that. That's how you get that sound without it just sounding all mashed together. Is you're only having, uh, you're only hit when you're hitting a note. You only have that finger on the string. Otherwise, the note before will continue to ring. So, and then you just kind of hit your pinky way up there on the 19th fret high E string. So, and then to the 15th fret to the 14th fret, sort of like a hammer-on pull-off on the 15th, and then grab the uh, 15th fret on the B string, so all together. part switches gears a little bit um, goes to the uh, sixth and the seventh fret on the D string or sorry the G string then to the ninth and the seventh so then to the eleventh and the ninth trickier uh, it's it goes like this uh. um, of course up to speed is a lot faster so starts on the 14th fret a string 12th fret uh, D string then to the 11th fret on the G 12th fret on the G G, so. Then the second time around it goes, but instead of ending on the 14th fret G, you just sort of lay your second finger down and hit the uh, 12th fret on the B string, so. And the third time, it doesn't even hit the 12th fret, it just goes, to the 12th on the B, and then it does this little section. Which is 12, 14, 15, 18, 15, 14, 12, 14, uh, 15, 12. Um, you just kind of listen to it, it's easier than just 
trying to play it as I say each note. So. Um, and that is the entire uh, intro, and of course, while all of that is happening, it's still going. Um, that's what you heard me doing the intro with uh, the loop pedal when I was playing it. So guys, that is how to play uh, the intro to One by Metallica. Uh, it's really fun to mess around with. You can also get some other solo licks and mess around with it yourself. Um, because it's uh, it's kind of an easy one uh, to improvise on. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later. Mm -hmm.